Good morning guys, it is Friday today and I'm feeling good. I finally slept last night. The last few nights have been horrible. Baby has been, she, basically she wakes up at night time which isn't ideal. Um, she wakes up at about, I would say around 8 o'clock and just goes a bit crazy. Then I'm just wide awake. Then I get restless legs and I'm up for about 10 million wees. But last night I actually slept, although I didn't go to bed until way past midnight because I thought it'd be a good idea to strip the wallpaper in the living room. Um, I think nesting is in like full force now. Uh, so yeah, that's not ideal. I've got to finish it this morning. Following that, I need to finish Harrison's wardrobe, I need to fix the drawer, I need to call around so many different like energy companies and water suppliers and really quite boring stuff. Um, the Sky Guy has been already this morning so we finally have internet and we have Sky TV which is lovely. I also need to sort out baby girl's things. Um, the builder or the carpenter is coming on Monday. So between now and then, we need to move everything out of this room, which is just very frustrating because obviously, you know, I've just put it all in here. I wanna pack up baby girl's stuff, kind of get it organized in her bedroom, not organized like of how it's going to be forever but so i know where stuff is really boring jobs i'm gonna take you with me <laughs> i also need to go and get a big like big plastic container like a giant tupperware uh from somewhere that hopefully isn't ikea because i genuinely cannot face going to ikea again um but i want to put all of harrison's arts and crafts stuff in there and then just store it away. I haven't got any like proper little storage solutions for it that look good and like are accessible at the minute. Um, so if you do have any recommendations for that then please let me know. Oh gosh this adulted thing. Have some wants a little snack. Gosh I'm gonna sneeze. No I'm not. Yes I am. No I'm not. <laughs> so annoying. Um, yeah, Harrison wants a little snack. I don't even know where I'm looking right now. I need to sort out all of this in the utility room. I wanted to film like a whole video, like a utility room organization video, but actually I don't think I'm gonna have time. So I'm gonna unpack it all. And then if you want to see that video, yeah. let me know and I can film something a little bit better. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got any cake, babe. Here we go. So this is the wall as it stands. So before we had this awful, I mean, it wasn't even up straight. It was this like wonky padded wallpaper that had been painted over so, so many times. So the top layer came off really easily, which is this stuff here. Um, then the lining paper, which I've just got to get the rest off today. <sighs> so many holes, which frustrate me. Um, and then this side has actually gone straight down to like the plaster. So I'm, I'm not, I don't mind that because that's smooth anyway. It can be painted over. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do. Do I sand it down, line it? and then paint that, or do I get a plasterer in? So to get my wallpaper off, the remaining bits, I'm just gonna use a few bits of washing up liquid, and then some warm water. Today I'm wearing these Blossom and Bloom pants. Um, they are the most comfortable things in the world. They're the ones that mums and papas sent me. And honestly, I mean, they should probably be in the wash by now. They're just so 
comfortable. We really want to get the living room done. However, the carpenter's going to be spending, I think, like a week and a bit upstairs. I don't even know, actually, if that's right. And then afterwards, over here in this little alcove, he's going to be building me a sideboard and shelving. So we can't paint it until that's all done. Because obviously that's going to have to be painted as well. The sofa's not coming until, I think, the beginning of November. And, I mean, I just want to, I want to get everything new. Um, so I need to decide on a paint that, yeah, I don't know if to get a, car a carpenter, a plasterer or not. I know the finish will look better. It's just like more money, isn't it? And, I mean, I've spent a lot. Triple A Credits are right Hang up the phone And let your heart break On the inner lane 24 twice She's on the phone But she's staying on Well shop full of art Old dreams dying hard I want you to return So that's pretty much done now Which is a relief I am going to get a plasterer in just think sometimes it's worth spending that little bit of extra money just to get it done um, my dad's just dropped over some hardboard for the flooring to protect the floor when the carpenter's here oh, so much to do guys generous today Yay. <laughs> so in the utility room I have like a box of stuff a bag of stuff that's medicines and things we want to get a cabinet to go up here and we've got this space to play with um, and then I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to fit in a like a changing mat and stuff here just for when we're downstairs but yeah, I might do something like washing, like powders and stuff, kitchen, bathroom, miscellaneous. Who knows? So for those of you that actually are into cleaning stuff like I clearly am um this is the stuff that we've got up here a couple of well some laundry detergent some fabric conditioners and stain removers, stain removers which are essential when you have a toddler um washing tablets a couple of Febreze's a carpet cleaner here which is really really good I rate this stuff a lot and their bath power stuff as well um, some method um, glass cleaner, bathroom cleaner, multi surface cleaner, Mr. Muscle, your standard disinfectants, this top up cleaner, which is really handy to have in the kitchen. Um, yeah, bits and pieces, scourers and stuff. Can you believe that we didn't think we had any scourers two days ago? Um, this stash says different wipes actually these will go upstairs because little boys oh my gosh um some some nice smelly bits goo gone which is so so good i have to get this on amazon but literally if you have children it's amazing for like i use it for all sticky stuff so we had in the old house some um stair gates and they left a really horrible sticky residue that got rid of it so so quickly fire cow lime scale remover poly filler and more cleaning stuff and then down here iron pop that back up here um a candle my little caddy just for when i'm going up to the bathroom and stuff and then down here 
we have the tumble dryer, the washing machine and my Dyson. Um, I actually still need to put up the charger thing here but I need to check that there's no electrics before I drill. So I'm just treating myself to a little coffee because I've hit a wall. Um, I think I'm going to make Harrison's the drawer for his wardrobe and make that kind of my last job of the day. I haven't made any of my phone calls yet. I can do it tomorrow. I'm sure it can all be sorted out on the weekend. Harrison and I have just been talking about baby sister, haven't we? And Harrison said that he thinks she's going to cry all the time. And I think he's right. Are you right? Tomorrow we are off to have a 4D scan, which I'm really, really excited about. We had one with Harrison, which I vlogged. Um, and I didn't think we was gonna have one this time round. And then I started to get a bit like, oh my gosh, how is that fair that I've had one with Harrison and not with her? Like when she grows up, she'll be like, be like oh, where's my scan? Like a 4D scan, probably won't, but might. Um, and my mum and dad very kindly like booked us one. They got me one as a gift. And I'm so excited to see what she looks like. Harrison looked so much like his scan um, when he was born, which is incredible. We had one with him, I think about 28 weeks and then he wasn't cooperating. So we had one like a week or two later. Um, I'm now 32 weeks, so this is like the latest that we can have a 4D scan. I don't think they do them after then. But yeah, I'm really excited. You excited to see what your sister looks like? He's got a big smile on his face. No. Oh, cheeky boy. Um, so yeah, we're off there tomorrow after I finish work, so exciting. So what, all of the big things, but not all of the baby things. You want more big boy things and not baby things? Yeah. Oh dear. Not baby. Wow, I love your tower. It's not a tower. Oh, what it's is a it? Mega sword. A mega sword. So I sorted through babies, vests, and sleep suits. I really need to get some new newborn things. I remember Duplo Tower. I remember when Harrison was born, we ended up having to go out and buy it up to one month. And he was 8, 12. So... Why when I was a baby and I was 8, 12? That's how much you weighed. So I think we're going to have to go out and get some more bits. I'll probably just get some multi-packs of stuff. Um... Oh, it's so cute looking at it all. I'm not even going to touch the clothes. I was going to. <laughs> Harrison has fallen asleep. Let him swim just watching the Kardashians and taking a couple of Instagram pictures. Um, very tempting to go to sleep myself, but triple A credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lay twenty four twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying. A few hours ago, I was absolutely raving about these trousers. Well, I've just seen that I have the biggest rip in them. Um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think I must have caught them on the. I don't know. Maybe the washing basket or the Moses basket. I'm absolutely gutted. <laughs> Anyway, everything is unpacked into baby's room now, um, all of the boxes and stuff. I just need to properly like sort her room out now, but as I said, I've got to chuck in everything in here into her room, which is why it's all on shelves, obviously it's not going to stay like that. <laughs> um, oh dear, 
I'm really upset about my trousers. So these two boxes here are just like full on clothes. Here we've got a few sleeping bags and blankets and like my favourites. Some bibs. A cute little dress that my mum and dad got her on holiday. Some towels which I really need more of. And then a whole load of like lens no breastfeeding things which um I was very kindly gifted here some prints my parents got me these for my birthday these two um which was the day that we found out we was having a girl um my breast pump that I used with Harrison that was amazing so I need to go through that and make sure it's all working and stuff and then some more prints the breastfeeding stuff bibs and stuff that all goes with this that needs to be washed and sterilised this cute little coat hook thing that I picked up in Sainsbury's bed sheets da, 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 da. and then the cot that needs to be put up egg butter egg and butter there's the butter there's the eggs. Right. Oh dear. And can I break the egg and have them put in their mitts? Is it all stuck? Is it all stuck? Should I help? Yeah. Oh. oh dear. There we go. I think you are star baker this week, Harrison. You star baker? I think you are. I would love to continue vlogging tonight. However, Harrison's not very well. Bless him. I just we went outside to ice our cakes. He said, Mummy, I feel very tired. And then he kept being sick. So, yeah. Not ideal. All over Mummy. All over the sofas. I'm now wondering why we've just bought new sofas um but yeah feeling a bit better yeah um so yeah i'm off to do lots of washing and to make this little boy feel better although i think ben tends doing that um but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow.